morning and welcome to Southern Sports Network. I'm Lindsay Suttemeyer. And I'm Abby Williams here to update you on the latest in moccasin sports news. The women's basketball team played in the NCAA Division II Elite Eight yesterday against number one seed Lubbock Christian. The team fought hard the entire game, only trailing by 10 after the first half. In the second half, the girls rallied to get the score back within two points with only 40 seconds left in the game. Unfortunately, the team fell short, losing 73-69. to The girls had an amazing season. Congrats to the team and Coach Betsy Harris. The Moccasins men's and women's track teams competed in the USF Invitational last weekend. Freshman Dean McGregor ran a 4-minute and 7-second 1,500-meter race, setting a new FSC freshman record. In the 5,000-meter race, Evan Quinones and Dean McGregor placed in the top six. The women's team also competed in longer distance events. Cassidy Watkins crossed the finish line first for the Mocs in the 1500 meter race with a time of 5 minutes and 15 seconds. Behind her was Emily Clement. She ran a 530. The next meet is the UNF Spring Invitational on March 25th. The Lady Mocs lacrosse team lost last Thursday after a competitive game to Hamilton Continental 10 to 9. Megan O'Brien, Kendall Courage, and Ashley Robertson all scored two goals in the game. The team plays next on Friday in Charlotte against Queen's University. Men's lacrosse struggled at home Thursday evening as the Mock suffered a 13-10 loss to Colorado Mesa in a non-conference contest at Bryant Stadium. This marked the third straight loss for the team which pushed their season record to an even 5-5. Five five. The men's team then won against the University of Indianapolis on Saturday with a season high of 17 goals. The final score was 17-12 with the Mocs ending their three-game losing streak. Six of the 17 goals were scored by Tyler Copen. Cody Gray would tally four assists and Matt Lowley would record eight saves. The Moccasins scooped up another victory with a 13-6 win over Adam State this Tuesday afternoon. Adam State was the first to strike with a goal, but the attack came alive with the back-to-back -back goals by junior attacker Tyler Copen. Sophomore midfielder Lucas Claude led the team with five goals on the night. Junior midfielder Zeke Wilson, freshman midfielders Blaine Preston and Spencer Murphy all scored their first goals of the season. Matt Laley allowed just five goals and had 11 saves in his 48 minutes on the field. The men start conference play as they take on Florida Tech Saturday evening at 7 p.m. at Bryant Stadium. The softball team lost three games against St. Leo this weekend. In the first game, Brady Jones fought hard, allowing only one St. Leo player to get on base through the first three innings, but couldn't quite hold on. The Mocs lost 5-1. In the second and third games, the Mocs battled, but unfortunately were closed out by the Lions 5-0 and 6-0. Moccasin Baseball won their series on the road this past weekend against Embry-Riddle. Junior Mitch Reeves had two three-run homers in the series, and Mocs had double-digit hits in all three games. The wins this weekend propelled the Mocs back into the top 10 in the coaches' poll, coming in at number 9. The boys' next series is a conference matchup against Eckert and St. Petersburg tomorrow and Friday. Women's golfer and our very own Abby Williams was selected to play in the Symmetra Tour, Road to the LPGA. She will be competing alongside top professional golfers from the United States and around the world for the grand prize of $175,000. Congratulations, Abby, and good luck. The men's golf team competed in Georgia at Cuscoilla in the Bobcat Invitational. John Vanderlyn and John Michael Coltis both placed in the top five, along with Jimmy Jones, who placed in the top ten. The team placed third out of 17 teams. And a big congratulations to John Michael Coltis, who was named the Sunshine State Conference Player of the Week. This past week, the, ten the men's tennis team had a minor setback, losing to number four, West Florida, but we're back at it on the 22nd, winning 8-1 over Merrimack, with freshman Brian Wilson winning his first collegiate game. The, wins, the women's tennis team finished with one win and one loss this past week. They lost their three-game win streak on Friday against sixth-ranked West Florida. Lorena Riona was the only mock to win her match of the day. The mocks fell eight matches to one. On Tuesday, the mocks fought hard for a come-from-behind win at the University of Tampa. The Mocs won their final match to come out with the 5-4 win. The record now stands at 7 wins and 4 losses. Thank you everyone for joining us. I'm Abby Williams. And I'm Lindsay Suttemeyer. This has been Southern Sports Network.